Good afternoon and hello world. I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to use my blogs for four reasons. The first one is that I like to share my own experiences with you guys on what it's like to uh, live with an autism spectrum disorder, in my case Asperger's syndrome. Other times I like to uh, give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media, like in the case with the individual who uh, had pay withheld from him from Applebee's while he was working there. A third thing that I do is I like to uh, talk specifically to individuals on the autism spectrum and to their friends and their families and their peers and their mentors and to anybody in the legal system, to anybody in uh, the education systems, to the employment systems and so on and so forth as uh, a form of uh, tips and advice. And a third thing that I do is I like to uh, cover topics that I'm passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And in this video blog, what I would like to do is uh, give some tips and advice out there to uh, you individuals on the autism spectrum and I'd like to speak to your parents and I'd also like to speak to people who you once considered your best friend. And I most recently had created a couple of videos on learning how to handle rejections and how to handle it when somebody uh, is not being very nice to you anymore. And I had also talked about bullying. Well, there is a way that you can curve that bullying and there is a way that you can help the other person be aware of how they're treating you. and you can also, hey, let them know how you're feeling. Like, let's say that you have a best friend in junior high who has met a series of friends and suddenly they're uh, pushing you away because their friends don't like you and they don't understand you and they uh, have parents that are scared of you because you have meltdowns or because you uh, like certain things that they don't anymore. Uh, there are ways you can deal with that. Well, first of all, uh, you can go up to the person that uh, was your friend and you can say to them, hey, excuse me, can I talk to you for a few minutes? And just, th just tell them, hey, listen, I'm really happy that you found these new friends and I'm glad that it's a perfect fit for you. Unfortunately, you and I are friends too. I don't understand why in the world you're being mean to me. I'm confused. And you can also tell them that, uh, hey, I noticed that you talk to me differently than you used to. I noticed that you make fun of me because I still like the minions or I still like my little pony. Friendship is magic. I noticed that you make me feel bad because I don't dress like your friends or wear piles of makeup. I noticed that you guys made fun of me because I cut all my hair short. Uh, you can do that. And then another thing that you could do uh, so that uh, their new friends and their new family members get to know you is maybe possibly getting a hold of a student directory or getting a hold of their phone numbers through your um, so-called friend or possibly if you run into one of these people invite them over for dinner and what you could do is possibly create a, a PowerPoint presentation or you could create a special slideshow uh, on PowerPoint and send that home with them on a uh, on a USB port or one of those little disks and you could tell them about some of your uh, quirks and you could tell them that you're a really cool person to hang out with and tell them that hey this was my best friend for many years and she didn't have a problem with me before she knows that I'm in love with Despicable Me and the, I like the Minions because I feel like I can relate to their humor and you also let them know that you're different but not less. So anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments on my blogs, I would absolutely love to hear from you about that. Um, uh, other things I'd like to let you guys know is that I am starting to cross promote my video blogs and I um, put up a couple of different links and one of the links that I put up for you guys that would like to know more about autism, how many of you on here are fans of TED? Now, I don't really know what the acronym is, but they are 12 minute talks that are uh, meant to educate and there are several people on there that give talks on autism 
And I know Dr. Grandin go, has gone on there. And I know that there are uh, a series of self-advocates or model citizens on the autism spectrum that are writing books and talking about what it's like to be autistic. And then they have uh, other people that have done research with um, autism, and they're brilliant. So again, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and also be sure to check out any of the TED videos. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer.